Now moving on to our next topic on mobile automation with APM. We are going to look at how we can set up some of the APM tools. One of the tool is called the APM doctor. Now this particular tool is a CLI tool which can be used to validate your environment setup for either Android or iOS automation. It can easily identify configuration issues and it also tells you how to fix these particular issues. So you can run a, you can run a simple NPM command to basically install this uh, CLI tool. And then uh, using this tool, we can check the iOS setup and the Android setup. So for now, I will be just checking the Android setup. Later on, we will also look at the iOS setup. So now uh, let's go to our command prompt. And then here we are going to execute these commands to install the APM doctor and also to check the Android setup. So now let's open command prompt and let's try to run these following commands. So first we will go ahead and uh, install APM doctor uh, using the NPM package manager. So let's go ahead and execute this command here. We'll wait for the installation to complete. So once the installation is complete, now uh, we can go ahead and check our Android setup using the APM doctor. If you want to look at all the commands which are available with APM doctor that you can do using the help command. So we will type here APM doctor and then H. Okay, so these are all the commands here you can see. So you can see the version number, you can check iOS and Android setup. You can even check your dev setup. Uh, you can show debug messages and few other commands. Okay, so as I said, we'll be checking the Android here. Uh, so we'll check the Android setup and its configuration. So we'll execute this command here. And now if we look into this, you will see uh, it will show you some info and some warnings. So warnings are basically things which you need to fix. Out of these, there are optional warnings and there are mandatory warnings. So mandatory warnings are um, denoted with this plus sign and a red mark which means you need to fix all these warning. The yellow plus signs are basically the optional dependencies. So you can choose to fix them or you may not fix them. Now, APM doctor also tells you whether it can fix it automatically or you need to fix it manually. So whatever it can fix it automatically, it will do it. If not, you have to manually fix the configurations. So here you can see manual fixes needed. The configuration cannot be automatically fixed. Please do the following first. Okay, so it will also tell you how you can fix this. So we need to uh, make sure the environment variable is properly configured for the APM process, right? And then these are the optional manual fixes. Uh, so we can uh, install all these plugins uh, or dependencies, okay? But first, let's go ahead and fix this mandatory configuration, which is to set the environment variable for Android Home. Now, in order to do this, uh, we need to go uh, into our environment variables. So we will edit the system environment variables. And then here we will go to environment variables. We will add a new system variable here, right? And uh, that will be called the Android underscore home. Okay, and then here uh, the variable value uh, would be the Android SDK directory. So let's go ahead and browse the directory here. So we will go to the user and then here uh, we will go to the app data. Inside app data, we'll go to local and inside local, we will find Android. And here you will find the SDK directory. Okay, so in Windows, this is the path where the Android SDK is present. So we will select this and we'll click on OK and close this. OK, so our Android underscore home is now set. Let's go ahead and run this one more time and let's see if that fixed uh, our issue or not. You will see that it is still not showing uh, it is fixed. The reason is uh, in Windows, uh, whenever you have opened a command prompt already, it doesn't show you the latest changes. 
Okay, so we may have to close this and reopen our command prompt and then uh, rerun the command and then you will see that the issue will be fixed. Okay, it doesn't pick up the configuration automatically. So let's run this one more time. And now you will see uh, the Android underscore home is fixed. Okay, there are no errors here uh, for the configuration. Even it fixed all these uh, platform tools, it was able to configure everything. Well, you can go ahead and also uh, resolve all the optional dependencies if you want. All the URLs are provided here uh, with the APM doctor. And then you can just follow the instructions which are mentioned in these URLs. I'm not going to do this uh, in this particular lesson, but uh, this is how you can set up one of the APM CLI tools, which is known as uh, the APM doctor. It is pretty useful uh, in uh, checking your configurations for different uh, environments like the iOS or Android or even your dev setup. And then you can also fix the configurations and rerun the commands to uh, make sure that your configuration and your setup is all ready for your mobile automation. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.